everyone. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Thank you so much for joining us today um, on our weekly hybrid um, MLS breakfast meeting. Again, my name is Wendy Zen and I'm your October program chair. Um, today, I'd like to have Derek Talbert to lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and face the flag to your left. Place your right hand over your heart and recite with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And next we'll have Sylvia Ramos for the um, inspirational quote. I am so excited to be here and do the quote. I actually got to come up here. So thank you, Wendy, for that opportunity. Thank so you. the quote today, you've probably heard many, 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 many times, but I cannot tell you how this one always resonates in my head. And my husband sent this to me. He sends me quotes. I send out quotes. Quotes is a thing, right? So here we go. A healthy attitude is contagious. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who motivate you, and who encourage you. So I leave you today to find someone in this room that you never sit with and inspire them. Thank you. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you so much. So last week, I talked a little bit about my family. And today, I well, uh, what I do as like uh, some hobbies when when or if I have to free time. Um, so I love artwork. So about seven years ago, I started painting landscapes and abstract. Um, and then I love plants. So a lot of my friends call me a plant mom. Um, during COVID, I built a, well, my family and I, we built a English garden and with a French um, gazebo. So we do like a little high tea from time to time. Um, I also love dancing. I do uh, salsa dancing, swing dancing, and um, sometimes I do waltz and cha-cha-cha. Um, and I also used to run, used to run half marathons around the United States, different states. And then um, also like uh, during the holidays, I usually take the kids and family and friends to waterfall hikes. We love the nature. And um, finally, every Thanksgiving, um, I take the kids to um, downtown and feed the homeless. And that is something we do together every year. So that's about it. Let's move on. Um, so if you're a member and you wanna make an announcement, please come up and fill out the form and then we turn it to Berlin. Okay, um, a few housekeeping tips. All participants on Zoom will be muted upon entry um, to the MLS breakfast meeting. Should you have any questions, so make sure to remember and type it in the chat box. Please remember to join us weekly um, as we have our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting every Thursday at 9 a.m. And as always, this meeting is being recorded and will be available on YouTube channel, West San Gabriel Valley Realtors. Please remember to follow the WSGVR social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also watch all the pre-recorded videos on YouTube. And please join us um, to the text um, message group for all the updates. Text it to WSGVR to the number at 888-301-2201. Okay, today's agenda consists of our president's message, affiliate spotlight, Brandon Swaronski's um, from First America NHD, and then follow with our guest speakers, Derek Talbert, um, Bird's Eye Management Services, Mackenzie Hong from Morrison Plus Property Inspections, Tony Escamilla from Villa Home Inspection. Just a reminder that, you know, in order to be eligible for today's drawing, you must be a WSGVR member and be in person at the association. We will be having an attendance drawing, Amazon gift card drawing, and 50-50 raffles. So now I'd like to call Bertrand to play a video for us. We'd like to play this video produced by our friend here, De Derek for the NAR Substantive event that we have last two Saturday ago.
I feel so happy about the success of the event. Close to 100 people attend a summit, and it is incredible. I just want to say thank you to many volunteers for the event, as well as our staff, Christy, who put together this event so successful. So I'm happy with it. Um, honestly, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to NAR for granting us this grant <laughs> and then for allowing us to have the opportunity to make this a successful sustainability summit event. was honored to be the moderator today for the sustainability event. It's amazing after 57 years in this business that you still learn. I really got a lot of knowledge out of today's classes and the speakers were out of this world dynamic speakers. It, it was an amazing event. It was, uh, it was really fantastic. It was great to see so many people here and uh, the Realtors and the community folks who came out were so engaged and excited to learn about sustainability here. Um, it, was, it was really a great sustainability summit. I really want to congratulate West San Gabriel Valley Association of Realtors for putting it together and using the grant that they received from the National Association of Realtors to great use and uh, it was really great to be part of that. So, Sustainability and preparedness are actually gifts. They're gifts and they're opportunities for your business. You can stand out, you can make a difference, and be able to do well by doing good. Thank you so much for West San Gabriel Valley Realtor. This is a, a sustainability summit that we all here to participate. I feel the information is very informational and also what we call is a movement for the green and environmental awareness. It was such an amazing crowd of high energy and thank you to the group for giving me an opportunity to discuss the renewable energy that's out there, you know, and we had to talk about what's really viable, which is currently the solar energy. On behalf of the West San Gabriel Valley Realtors, we'd like to thank NAR for this incredible sustainability grant. We so happy with the outcome and um, hopefully that we can do continue doing this every year, not only for our members, but for the entire community. We have no script, it's improm interview. So thank you, Derek, for the wonderful video. This will, video will be submitted to the National Association Realtor. All right, today our affiliate spotlights will be brought to you by the affiliate committee chair, Lina Sankari uh, from US Bank and Vice Chair, Teresa Nguyen from Long Direct. Um, Take it away, Brandon. Uh, good morning, everyone. Brandon Savransky with First American NHD. Yes, that's my day job. I do natural hazard disclosures, but as you guys see, I'm here all the time. I do a lot at the board. And the reason why I love doing stuff at the board is because of all of you, everyone shows up on a weekly basis and I love seeing your faces. So if you wanna to go to the first, first pictures. So I got to play in the West San Gabriel tournament and recently at ARIA tournament. And uh, I, I like playing golf, I'm not the best golfer, but uh, I get out there. And uh, another thing I've been doing with quite a few people from the board, so we've been going to hot yoga together. So if you guys wanna join us, Core Power Hot Yoga in Pasadena, super fun. Um, if you wanna go to the next slide. So this is my family. Um, I actually, I'm originally from Atlanta, for those of you who know, um, and my grandparents actually live in San Diego. So my mom was born in Orange County. So technically I'm a Californian kind of. Um, and my grandparents who live in San Diego. So this picture, unfortunately, was from a incident that happened in May. And I'll get on my soapbox real quick. Um, for those of you who don't get your heart checked regular, regularly, my grandpa, he is 88 and he is one of the most active 88 year olds I've ever met. They go on 10 mile hikes on a weekly basis in San Diego. And in May, my grandfather fell over and he had a heart attack on a trail. They medevaced him out of the forest, got him to Palomar down in San Diego. He coded twice, so almost died. Um, and they saved his life, put in a stint. Now he is literally back to normal, going to the gym and all that stuff. So it's crazy. I have some good genes, I guess. Um, and so my little PSA to you is just get things checked. I know that that doesn't always, the doctors don't always check for things like uh, your heart or um, blockages. And this happened just, my grandpa is super healthy and this just all of a sudden came out of nowhere. Um, and they were literally on a trail uh, 10 miles 
from the portal. So again, please uh, check yourself on those things. Um, go to the next slide. This is one of my best friends. Um, I went up to Seattle for the first time. If you guys can see the Space Needle, we went on a Duffy boat out in Lake Union. Super cool experience. Um, and I, another another thing I would like uh, for you guys to know is that his sister is actually about to give birth. And unfortunately, she lives in Israel. And right now, she is literally like three days from giving birth to her child, and they're in an act of war. So keep her, keep her uh, thoughts in your prayers, um, and hopefully it all goes well. Um, go to the next slide. So baseball season, unfortunately for all of us, was not a great ending to the season. Um, I am a, I'm a Dodger fan, but I'm also an Atlanta Braves fan. So what, what a terrible end of a season for both teams. But uh, fortunately, I, I got to go to a few games this year. So go Dodgers, go Braves, and hopefully uh, next year it'll be better. I know. Um, this was, I went on a trip with my family to Hawaii. If you've never gotten to do this, this is actually, it's a fuzzy picture, but we got to go and swim with manta rays and they literally come up to your face. It was like the coolest experience. It was a night snorkel. And yes, I was freaked out and thinking sharks were going to eat me, but, um, this is a really cool experience in Hawaii that I, I suggest you do go to the next slide. This is my family. Um, my two sisters, I am the middle child. Yes. I was tortured as a child. I have two sisters. Um, uh, my brother-in-law is behind me. Um, and my, my parents and my older sister live in Atlanta and my sister and brother-in-law live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to the next slide. And this is my dog sky. I adopted her a year and a half ago and she's like a super mutt. She's mainly Husky, but she's Husky Malamute, Samoyed, German Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel. She got it all. <laughs> she's a Heinz 57 dog. Uh, but this is definitely uh, my child, my fur baby. I don't have children yet, but she definitely takes up a lot of time. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I think that's it. Yep. Thanks. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Please remember to support our affiliates. Um, we'll now have our affiliate introduction for today and all the paid affiliates present today, please line up to the front. Um, please, no promotions, no, announce no announcements. Um, this is strictly a morning greeting. So please begin with the affiliate in person and you can walk off towards the door. All right, good Good morning, everybody. Mackenzie Hong from Morrison Plus Property Inspections. Excited to talk about a little bit of video content for you today. Good morning, everybody. Derek Talbert, Bird's Eye Management Services. You have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Tony Escamilla with Villa Property Inspections. Good to see so many happy faces here this morning. Have a great day. Good morning. Brandon Spransky again, First American NHG. Well, look, he's, that's a short joke, guys. You saw that? <laughs> Not as tall as him. It's okay. My name is Cosmo Sanchez, and I do home loans. Thank you. Well, I guess uh, I'm a little confused today with all of the emotional stuff that happened. Anyway, my name is Mario, Rate One Financial, the king of reverse mortgages, health for everybody. That's our number one. Good morning, Nancy Chan, lawyer's title. Have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Oriana Chan with Prime Lending. Good morning, everyone. Chris Hahn, Guild Mortgage. Have an awesome day. Good morning. My name is Sam Yu, and I'm with Primerica Mortgage. Good morning. Bob Chu with Champion Escrow. Good morning. I'm Phoebe Liu from Utah Bank. I'm a local commercial home loan officer. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Good morning. <clears throat> Angie Tang, First American Title. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, Judy Chow, loan officer. Have a great week. Good morning, everybody here and on Zoom. This is Lucia Tam representing CARPA, <laughs> Chinese American Real Estate Professionals Association. Have a great week. Good morning, everyone. Alba Moy from Moya Sur Alhambra. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. Oh, can you hear me? This is Tiffany Wenzel with JP Morgan Private Bank. I help with creative tax aware lending for ultra high net worth to high net worth clients. Good morning. It's Manuela Castillo, and I decorate homes. Good morning, everyone. This is Esther with HSBC Bank. I also represent RH County Chapter. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Fanny Shao, CDBC Bank. Good morning, Su Chong with the Casa Management. Hello, happy Thursday, Lina Sankari from US Bank Home Mortgage, Pasadena. Good morning, Jacqueline Chu from Champion Escrow. 
Good morning. This is Feng Shui Master. Good luck. Good morning, Alina Chu from Glen Osasco in San Marino. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, Pearl Wu from Sunrun, a planet powered by the sun. Good morning, David Tran with Home Guard Home Warranty. Every week I don't make millionaires, but I make I help make micro millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Next, we'll call on the affiliate that's who's uh, joining us virtually. Uh, we have John Wax from Snap NHD. Good morning, everyone. John Wax with Snap NHD Natural Hazard Disclosure Reports. Have a wonderful day and prayers for Israel and people around the world. Thank you. Next, um, AMS Insurance. Okay. <laughs> I remember every week <laughs> she's in person, but I'm like reading the board. Thank you. Um, the WSGVAR Foundation is doing a silent auction um, every week. Please visit the silent auction table to bid on the items, and they're located to your left over there. Um, also, we are happy to include any open pitching to our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting. And if you like to pitch your listing, you must go to www.wsgvr.org to click on the caravan request form, fill it out, and submit it no later than Tuesday, the midnight of the week that you want to pitch. Today, we have a listing from Caravan, and her name is Narita Gonzalez of uh, Jason Mitchell Real Estate Group. Welcome, Narita. So here's my listing, 7451 uh, Salsi Puedes. And it is a home that's located in um, Red Hill, Altaloma, Rancho Cucamonga, exclusive neighborhood. Uh, people go for walks here. So when you see people go for walks, you know, you're like, maybe that's my home, right? Um, the best part of the home is you walk, when you walk up to it, you'll see the vineyards, right? So you have wrestling, you have mus muscat, you have Zinfandel, and there's another one. I can't think of it right now. My mind's running too fast. It's on a drip system. Okay, and they, uh, sorry, and they, well, maybe if it was a little bit, help me. Uh, um, it's, it's on a, um, or you can, you know, pull it up, put your grass, you're drought resistant because it's there. Um, it's a great home. It's a four, two open house this weekend. We have open house both Saturday and Sunday. My colleague will be there. I will not. It's from two to five and 11 to three on Sunday. If you do have any questions, just let me know. Um, I, I'm here to answer them and, uh, yeah, it's a great home. It is ready to be sold. It's beautifully stiff, how you can actually use the home. The backyard's great for entertainment. There among the other place we like to go to drink wine. Yes. That one. All right. Thank you. Temecula, your own Temecula and Rancho. How about that one? All right. Thank you guys for listening to me and God bless everyone. Thank you. If you did not register for Caravan, but you want you have an active listing on MLS, so please come up and uh, make your pitch. Hey everyone, um, thirty one twenty six Wildwood Court. It's in Chino Hills. It is a three bedroom, three bath, uh, over fifteen hundred square feet. Uh, we have a great tenant in there, uh, paying twenty seven per month, but it can go up another two hundred dollars. Uh, currently, we have offers, but unfortunately, we have to show before um, with the offers. So, but it's very flexible. Um, so, let me know if you're interested. If you have any clients? Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Anyone else? Okay. At this time, let's welcome Brandon Zronsky from First American H NHD, and he will be our moderator today, uh, and he will be introducing our guest speakers. Thank you. Good morning again, everyone. And uh, as you know, I work for First American NHG, but uh, I am your moderator today. And um, I'm going to start by introducing our lovely panelists here, Derek, Mackenzie, and Tony. So start off here with Derek. Hello, I'm Derek Talbert from Burnside Management Services. Um, pretty much, I help amplify your digital presence online. So um, that's everything from videos and websites and things of that sort. I'm Mackenzie Hong from Morrison Plus Property Inspections. Uh, you know, the title speaks for itself. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Tony Escamilla with Villa Property Inspections. We handle all your uh, home inspection, residential, and commercial uh, needs. Awesome. All right. So uh, our talk topic today is talk nerdy to me. 
and it's all about social media marketing and trends. And this is something that everybody can use. So affiliates and agents alike, everybody can use these things. So please pay attention. These guys are definitely experts. So we're going to start with um, oh, Tony. Um, so Tony, in the age of AI and social media, is email marketing still an effective method of reaching potential clients? Um, yes, absolutely. And I, I think uh, email marketing is one of the... Um, the marketing um, avenues that is often overlooked, regardless of what type of business you're in. Uh, but I'll give you an interesting statistic. Uh, according to a um, study that was done last year by McKinsey and Company, which is a major marketing uh, company, the average return on email marketing is $44 to $1. So every dollar that you spend on email marketing, your your ROI is forty four dollars. The um, fifty eight percent of people check uh, their emails every single day before they check social media, and only point five percent of people will actually buy something as a result of social media. So between the two, email marketing is probably the least expensive way to market with the biggest return. Um, so yeah, I think AI, for example, and social media go hand in hand with email marketing. Uh, with the with you know advent of like chat GPT, email marketing is even even a, a bigger avenue now than than it has been. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. Um, and then we'll go to Mackenzie. Um, so how how do you two find identity with your video content? Yeah, so a big thing with social media nowadays, and especially email marketing, is video content. And everybody wants to see video, whether it's a post on your, your Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that. Um, to be able to find your identity within your video is to make sure you tell a story. Uh, make sure you have a hook, you set up a problem, you tell a story, and you elaborate on the problem, and make a call to action. So uh, pretty easy steps in uh, being able to structure your video. Um, and if after, if you want more detail, I can definitely go into more detail about how to create your videos and how to put them together. Awesome. Thanks, Mackenzie. And Derek, what in the world is chat GPT and how do I use it? Okay. That's a big question everybody wants to answer to. I'm going to share my screen with you really quick uh, so that way you can kind of get a live view of it. But essentially chat GPT is a, it's an, it's your personal assistant. It can do pretty much anything that you can train a person to do. So that's, you know, um, looking over emails with you, proofreading things, creating content and things of that sort. So for example, as a realtor, if I wanted to create a 30 day social media um, outline, cause I don't know really what to do. I can say this here. Social media outline. Or Insta post three times a week for real estate. So then it'll just pitch out and tell you every single thing that you need to post on those different days, just kind of telling you the, the type of post that you want to do. Then at that point, you upload your videos or your email marketing or whatever else you needed. You just kind of plug it in and there you go. So that's just one one way. Awesome. All right, we're going to go back to Tony. What's the best way to get started using email marketing? Email marketing, um, <clears throat> one of the things about email marketing is that like any other platform that we use, whether it be video or social media, there you have to have a plan on how you're going to do it, like that calendar that, that uh, Derek just created. And you have to be consistent. Because if you send out one thing or you post one thing once a week, um, you know, there, there's an old saying that says, you know, uh, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. If she didn't see it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, um, so the way I suggest getting started with email marketing first is pick a platform. And by platform, I mean, there are um, services like MailChimp. I use MailChimp. So if anybody here receives my emails on a regular basis. I use two, two platforms. One of them is home inspection specific and the other one is MailChimp. There's constant contact. And I think the, the board uses constant contact here. And there's a, a, a much more in-depth 
a platform called Active Campaign, but that's for people who send out like massive amounts of emails, um, ma mainly for marketing uh, agencies. Um, the other thing I would recommend if you're going to get started with email marketing is to plan what type of content you're going to send out. If you're going to send out advertisements, uh, just straight advertisements, they're going to end up in in deleted in the in the trash can, and you're going to get blocked. Um, I always try to send out something of value. When I send something out to realtors, it's something instructional, uh, checklist, uh, tips on this, tips on that. My open rate right now on email, uh, my email marketing is roughly about forty percent, and yeah, on the average, yeah, and yeah, it, it spikes sometimes, but um, yeah. So once you have a plan, then you need to decide who you're going to target, and then be very consistent. And I, I would start with picking one of these uh, services. They're very inexpensive uh, for whatever database you have. All right, Mackenzie, what are the basic rules to making video content? So when when you're making video content, I mean, you have to have what 50% of your, all of your content period, you have 50% video and 50% regular like picture posts. Um, the content itself needs to have a caption which is super important. So people read into the video and also read into the caption. Um, I'm sure you've been scrolling through Facebook and you read the comments or read the captions of whatever video posts and you're reading the captions first before even listening to the video, right? Just to kind of figure out the context. Um, next is subtitles. So subtitles are, uh, I think in, in my opinion are mandatory uh, just in the sense that if you're in private or you don't want anybody else listening to what you're listening to, you can read whatever's going on. Um, the video itself should be between one to three minutes. So people's attention span stays on topic and they're able to kind of get through the whole video. And you know, who wants to listen to somebody that's droning on for 10 minutes? I don't, I don't think anybody wants to do that. Um, another thing is film vertically, uh, which kind of helps with social media with your phone and, and everything like that. So everything is seen uh, within your video. And then also making sure to be direct with your topic and the average attention span now for people is one to three seconds for your, for your initial video. <laughs> so if you can catch somebody and hook them in within the first one to three seconds, you're good to go. But most of the time, if it doesn't make sense, they'll scroll away and then your whole video is ruined. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So uh, we definitely need to improve our, our attention spans clearly. <laughs> All right. And uh, Derek, do you have any suggestions of AI that works with social media? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So um, a, a lot of people, um, again, so number one with AI, you can get a specific AI to do a specific task. So in this case, there's an AI called Engage AI that works with LinkedIn. Um, I figured this would be useful to you guys because everybody uses it. Have you ever been scrolling through and you see something, you see something that you want to comment and post on, but you know, you're know what to say you can't think of anything you can actually get an ai to give you some type of caption response so you can say hmm, let's leave a funny response to this so what it'll do it reads the post and then you give it a couple seconds and then it will generate a funny response so again like i was saying um earlier about ai it's a very specific thing so chat gpt like google for you it's gonna direct you anywhere but um, to do specific things, you need to find a specific AI to handle it. Um, in this case, this one's running a little slow. I think our Wi-Fi is a little behind. We'll do another one. Uh, we'll just do that. Go friendly. Twitter post. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So um, it, what it'll do, it reads the post and then comes up with a human sounding response. Now that it's saved a bunch of time where I don't, I know it's kind of mean, but... I really didn't want to look at the video. I just needed to respond. I just needed to, you know, engage and keep things going. I mean, that's how you push yourself forward in the algorithm is just by connecting with people. So if you don't really want to connect, but you just want to seem like you are, it looks very <laughs> genuine. <laughs> awesome. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. I said, or that's something, that's another platform that you can score all the way um, 
it's only for LinkedIn. Um, actually, on your LinkedIn, if you look it up, um, it's connected directly with LinkedIn. Um, and this is a free service. By the way, everything I'm showing you guys today is free. I don't like to pay for AI. So, no awesome. problem. All right, Tony, what are some do's and don'ts of email marketing? Do's and don'ts. Yes, there's there's a lot of things. And I, I can speak about this for days um, uh, about marketing. You know, one of the things that we ha we all have in common here and you're you know wondering why are you know, home inspectors and other people telling you about marketing is that one of the things we all have in common is that we all basically run businesses. Your business as a realtor, you are a business in itself. And so marketing is the one thing that we all have in common. And there are certain things that you should do and shouldn't do. For email marketing, you need to have a plan. And you, you need to, I have an actual written plan of what type of content I'm going to send, who I'm going to send it to, when I'm going to send it, and how, how frequently. And I'm going to keep track of my responses. Like I said, I, I average about 40% open rate on emails. Um, you, you have to break down your one first, let me back up a little bit. You need to build your database. That is probably the most important thing that, that big do that you should do is have a database of your previous clients, uh, potential clients, and then break that database down into what type of, uh, clients they are. Are they commercial? Are they residential? Are they multifamily? And break that down because that way you can, when you send out an email campaign, you can send it out directly to those people that are more most likely to open it and most likely to to act on it. Um, touching on social media, you can create what we call a lead magnet, and a lead magnet is something you post on social media, like, "Hey, click here to download a checklist of things that you should be doing for." you know, home maintenance or something like that, or stuff like that, that gets people back to your page who are going to leave their email address in order to be able to download whatever you're offering. And it doesn't cost you anything, but you start building your database that way. And these are the people that you're going to target. Um, on MailChimp, uh, a, a very big do that I like about MailChimp, MailChimp has two different things that you can do for email. One of them, and it works really well with AI, one of them is a campaign where you're going to send a very specific thing, an event, something that's happening, and it, it's going to be a one-time thing. But you also can build sequences. And a sequence is a series of emails that are going to be emailed automatically depending on whether that other person on the other end opens the email. If they open the email on your sequence, you already have built in that there's going to be an automatic second email sent to them. If they don't open it, you have another email that will go out to them a couple of days later, trying to get their, their attention again. And if they open it, then they could start getting a series of emails that you've built. And all of this happens automatically. The hard part is building a sequence, but all of this happens automatically. And you can reach, and all you have to do is keep feeding that database. And you can be reaching people 24-7 without doing anything. And it all it takes is, is start building that database. And that sequence will start going out all by itself. Uh, big don't, like I said, don't send junk, number one. Uh, and two, don't overdo it. Don't email somebody every single day, uh, even on a sequence, because that's the quickest way to get blocked. And then the algorithm picks that up, and most of your emails from that point will end up in spam. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. And uh, we'll go back to Mackenzie. So seven ways to attack your video creation fears. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's a big, 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 big one to go against because a lot of people don't uh, know how to be in front of a camera or are comfortable behind or in front of a camera. Uh, so the first, it's seven Ps. Um, the first one is play. So play meaning play around with the camera rolling, uh, talk about something interesting and play it back to yourself. Find something that you like, find some things that you don't like, and then should also take that into account and then show your friends. I think that's one quick way for posting anything online is to show your friends. Um, and you could also use Instagram stories or Facebook stories to test those videos because those are, videos are up for 24 hours. Uh, next P is personalize. So make it visually personal, right? So you want to make sure you're in it and... Uh, 
something that helps me when I film myself or helps my colleagues film themselves is think about the camera being like a friend or a family member. That makes it super easy and comfortable. Um, next is pace yourself. So making sure you slow down and remind yourself that you want to be passionate about what you're talking about and genuine um, and smile to the camera a little bit. Act like there's somebody there. Uh, make it makes you feel more comfortable. Right. Um, next is pretend. Right. Pretend that you're that millionaire realtor or pretend that you're that successful person. So you put yourself in that shoe of that person. So you kind of understand how to be. And once you do more and more and more of those videos, you'll get the hang of it. Next is uh, next P is be passionate about your topic. And that kind of speaks for itself. Next is uh, pressure. Oh, you could just use your phone. Use your phone. Uh, iPhones nowadays are super easy to, uh, to use and, and film yourself. And you could get a, a little tripod as well from Best Buy or something like that. Set it up and film yourself and... Or you can even use your laptop computer or anything like that. And also remember to take the pressure off. You know, nobody's perfect. Uh, make your videos and, and do what you like to do. Nobody's going to judge you for what you're going to do because everybody in the realm, whether you're an affiliate or realtor, is trying to make content. Um, so, yeah. And last, the last P is practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Practice makes perfect, right? Alrighty. And uh, Derek, so is it easy to use AI to make presentations such as a listing presentation? Yes. If you if you have AI, it's very easy to do a lot of different things. Um, so I'm going to show you something called, this is called Gamma AI. Um, you use this to make presentations. You can make like a short web page. You can also create documents if you wanted to. So in this case, we're going to make like a little presentation. It's going to ask me what I want it to be about. So I will just for the sake of here do real estate. It sounds interesting. Here's an outline for you. And then it gives you an outline of what it's going to do for this presentation. For time's sake, I'm not going to go through all of it, but we're just going to slide by it. Next, you need to um, choose a theme. You know, you want it to look a certain way. You want it to kind of match your branding. You can create your own or you can go through all of these and find something that matches really well for you. But uh, yeah, let's click this one, the flamingo. That looks cool. And we're going to hit continue. And then simple as that, AI starts generating this. <laughs> so it gives you all the different types and breakdowns, blah, 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 blah. But um, the cool thing about this is you can actually go in and change everything that's in it. So you can upload pictures, you can remove things, you can put your own statistics in there. Um, but essentially, if you're needing to do a presentation that's not already like laid out on the MLS, you want to you know get super personal or maybe you have just a special a special listing or something like that. Um, you can literally, you saw in less than 30 seconds, just create something. So again, this is where you tie in all of the other content that you have. So your other photos that you that you have, put them in here. Um, your headshots, your social media stuff, your testimonials, things of that sort. You just drop it right on in here and AI kind of does the rest. Awesome. So cool. All righty. Well, uh, I think that's, we don't have any more time except for how many questions? Like a couple of questions. No, no questions. Sean says no questions. <laughs> Did you guys offer those services for people that might be here that will help with AI or any of those? Yes, I do. Um, you guys can just contact me. Um, all my info is up there. My email address is spelled wrong. It's Bird's Eye Management Services. But um, yeah, you can reach out to me as well. But Mac. <laughs> Alrighty. So yes, please feel free to contact any of them. If you have any questions or you want to know more about AI or want to know more about email marketing. So these are your resources. These are the social media gurus. Talk nerdy to them. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Alrighty. So thank you guys so much. You guys did a great job. Okay. On behalf of West San Gabriel Valley Realtors, I'd like to um, thank our guest speakers for coming in today for the very informative um, presentation. And we all learn about AI today, right? <laughs> uh, and I'm... Okay. So um, let's move on. We're running out of time. Uh, attendance drawing. So all of the WSG VR members are included in the attendance drawing. And um, the pot today is $800. So let's see who's the lucky winner. Um, 
if we don't have a winner, uh, $25 will be added to the pot each week until someone wins. And then the pot will um, begin again at $25 if someone wins. But if our last breakfast meeting that uh, we don't have a winner, um, we're gonna draw a lucky winner that time. So, and you must be in person and um, at the association and be a WSGVR member to win. So when your name is called, you must announce that you are here. Joanne Fan. Oh, Joan, sorry. Joan Fan. Not here? Joan Fan? Okay. So let's move on. Oh, Joan Fan. Sorry, I miscount. <laughs> um, okay. Let's have the uh, Amazon gift card drawing and we will select three people. That's what everyone um, look forward to, right? The first one is Artensia Ramirez. Next one is Judy Chow. And the last one is Karen Shin. Okay, let's make sure that you guys all participate in the education classes. A list of the upcoming classes is displayed on your screen and is available on our website as well. At this time, if you have already submitted the announcement, please come up and make your announcement. Hello, um, who likes meat fresh? Meat fresh, yes. Who likes it free? Yes. Well, bring your, call, your phone up. Mark their October 26th. October 26th, next week at 4 to 6 p.m. We'll meet up ARIA. Um, ARIA stands for Indian Real Estate Association of America, Tri-County Chapter. We are hosting the membership appreciation meetup at Meet Fresh in Hacienda Heights next week, October 26th from 4 to 6. And you will be able to get a chat. It's a great opportunity to meet up with new people, existing people. You can catch up. And we get to meet the board of directors, president, vice president, and all, and get to learn about what we do as Asian um, area. Um, we support sustainable home ownership, and we help out with the local communities. So... Mark your calendar, okay. we'll meet up next week. Make sure to register. If you need the link, come talk to me or Esther back there. Sorry, my time is up. See you next week. Thank you. Okay, next we have Lucia, but please make it short. We're running out of time. Thank you. Short and sweet. Kerpa is having his first uh, networking mixer. Thirsty Thursday networking mixer. It will be at Chonitos Mexican Restaurant. And that is in the city of Alhambra on Valley Boulevard, right near the corner of Fremont, where right next to Jack in the Box. It is today from four o'clock to seven o'clock. And that is $20 for non-members, $10 for members. And that includes a margarita, a beer, or a fountain drink, and also a taco and mini tostada bar. So okay, please come up. Four to seven today. See you all. Thank you. Okay. Next, we have Brandon and Derek. All right. Don't forget, next week is Halloween. Yay. So come dressed up. There will be a best costume contest. And yes, it is the day after my birthday. So I take all presents. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, and don't forget, we have prom on November 3rd. Um, get your suits, get your tuxes, you and your significant other. We're going to have food, dancing, a great, great time. Please RSVP as soon as possible. And today is the day before my birthday, so I'm accepting gifts as well. Okay, Dora, you're the last one. Just a little friendly reminder tonight, about 6 o'clock to 7.30, in Forest Lawn, Glendale. It's a free event for networking. Uh, we have a very nice uh, exhibit for the Hall of Crucifixions, and it's an amazing thing. Hors d'oeuvre and a cocktail, everything's free. Let me know if you still want to come. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So please check your emails for WSGVR 2023 award nomination form. Oh, okay. Sorry. We have one more. Um, Albert Tran. Sorry, I 
kind of just noticed that we do have a broker summit coming up on November 2nd, one day before the uh, prom night. So please take notes, come in. Um, everyone's welcome, not so only a broker. We do have a prize for you, uh, the gift, sorry, gift for you. So uh, please come in, very, very good topic. We have economic update from the well-known CAR chief economist, and then uh, many others you can see in here. I know I run out of time. Thank, Thank you. you, Albert. Thank you. Okay, please um, check your emails to nominate someone that deserves the recognition, and the deadline is tomorrow, October 20th. Um, and also next week, we're going to have the Halloween breakfast and follow that we will have the um, committee open house. So consider getting involved. Okay. And now we finally have the 50-50 raffles. Everyone's waiting for it, right? Okay, get your tickets out and let's see who's the lucky number uh, winner. 545-389. 545-389. How much do we have? <laughs> Forty six dollars. OK, so I also wanted to um, let you guys know that there's going to be a earthquake testing uh, warning today at around 10, 19 a.m. in San Francisco. So it's a testing um, just so everyone don't freak out when they get the alert. Um, and please join us next week for the Halloween celebration. Food breakfast will begin at 8.30 a.m. So come in your best costumes. Um, thank you so much for everyone for coming today. And the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.